I can't remember whose idea it was that I should watch Watership Down when it came on the telly when I was a kid. It's a bit weird that I did end up watching it because I was a complete wimp. I wouldn't watch Scooby-Doo because I thought it was too scary. I can't quite remember how old I was at the time, but if I thought that, then there was no way I was ready for Watership Down. And yet I must have watched it like 60 or 70 times. You know, the way that kids decide to obsessively watch the same movie over and over again. And because Watership Down holds such a special place for me, I thought I'd share some thoughts on a recent announcement that I have some... concerns about, to say the least. The BBC, in partnership with Netflix, will be making an all-star new adaptation of the celebrated Richard Adams novel about a group of rabbits struggling to survive in a brutal, uncaring, unflinching world where death waits around every corner into a four-part miniseries which will be CGI animated and will be, to quote the chief executive, toning down the violence to make it more appropriate for children. Okay, my concern isn't so much the toning down the violence part, it's the more appropriate for children part that gets me. As pretty much everyone knows by this point, Watership Down's reputation is almost entirely built on the fact that parents hear animated movie, talking bunny rabbits, and they think to themselves, oh, the kids will like that, and then you actually watch it and it's one of the fucking gnarliest movies you'd care to name. But the thing is, there's already been a version of Watership Down with a lot less violence in it, and the TV series from the 90s is actually pretty good. Nowhere near as dark, obviously, but I'm still somewhat concerned with the more appropriate for children sentence, because, okay, one, the original film is still rated U, which, uh, okay, I know that's a tenuous point, because people have quibbled over that for decades now. The British Film Classification Board have famously had complaints about Watership Down every single year since it was released. And also, two, unsuitable for all children maybe, but it's not really specifically a kid's film to begin with, and the brutality of Watership Down is kind of the whole point. Watership Down really spoke to me when I was younger, and it still does, because, as said, I was a massive wimp when I was a kid, and I found the world to be a daunting and scary place. And what I liked so much about Watership Down was that it agreed with me. Yes, Stuart, it said, the world is a daunting and scary place, but you're gonna have to do all you can to survive it. All the world will be your enemy, and whenever they catch you, they will kill you. But first, they must catch you. When they catch you, they will kill you. Not if they catch you, when. Not they might kill you, they will. But first, they must catch you. I just love that line. It's not patronising. It acknowledges death's inevitability, but it embraces that chase while you're still hanging on to your life. And kids will have to get to grips with the concepts of life and death and human fragility someday, so why not introduce them to that with a tale about talking bunny rabbits? What I love so much about Watership Down is that it feels truly dangerous, and not many kids' films, of which said it's not really a kids' film anyway, feel as dangerous as this. The brutality is its point. Just the story itself, the narrative, is animalistic and unrestrained, and our characters can be picked off at any minute by birds, cats. There's a dog loose in the wood. There's a dog loose in the wood. And I also feel the animation style of the original film complements the story perfectly. Being decisively lower budget than lots of big Disney movies of the time had something to do with that, but the rough around the edges style of Watership Down and the abstract sequences like the Bright Eyes bit, the bit where Hazel joins the Black Rabbit at the end of the movie, and that gorgeous opening sequence which is almost done like cave paintings telling the story of the origin of the rabbit, and of course... Rabbits blocked with dead bodies. Couldn't get out. Now, I'm not saying that CGI animation can't be appropriate for this kind of story. CGI animation can do abstract. Look at Inside Out, for example, which I thought was fucking incredible. But the thing that I'm gonna point out on this front is that you know that sort of ethereal glow that Joy has throughout the film? Well, there were some concerns during production over whether they could actually afford to give her that effect. This is one of the most financially lucrative companies in the fucking world worried about whether a certain abstract effect would be cost effective. 
Now, I know that Netflix has a lot of money, but I can't be the only person who thinks that CG sounds like a really weird choice for Watership fucking down of all stories. I mean, yes, you can do dark stories in CG. I mean, I thought Zootropolis was excellent, for example, but the animals in Zootropolis are very humanized, as are most animals in CGI kids' films. Watership Down is fairly unique among talking animal stories in that the animals talk and act like animals. In the book, they're even less human-like, but they've got their own language, their own values and lore. Richard Adams wasn't just taking aspects of the human experience and applying it to rabbits, he was translating the experiences of rabbits into a language that humans would understand. Not once in the movie did these feel like actors playing talking animals. They felt like animals. And that's what this story needs more than anything. When I was a kid, I liked stuff that made wildlife feel truly dangerous, because it is. Another thing that I loved at the time that sort of did a milder version of Watership Down was Animals of Farthing Wood. And I haven't really seen that much stuff in recent times that does stuff like this. While I would argue that the Watership Down movie is the perfect adaptation of the book, it's aged pretty well and doesn't exactly need remaking, we could do with more stuff like it in this day and age. And there is a lot of stuff in the book that didn't make it to the movie, so maybe my concerns over this new version are just me being presumptuous. But nevertheless, in conclusion, I have this to say. If anyone working on this new version of Watership Down is watching, I don't want to patronise you, but the following needs saying in case anyone on the team is thinking otherwise. Watership Down is not just a silly children's story about talking bunny rabbits.